Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for what is their true intentions for you? So are they serious about a relationship? Are they just playing around? Are they being deceptive in any way? Let's find out. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the overall and see, okay, what's really currently going on with this situation? And then what is their true long-term intentions towards you? Okay. So my darlings, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you for my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you look at personal read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerisen.com, or check out the description box below. The card that I wanted to pop out here, Cancer, is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces card. This card for me speaks of love and devotion. It also seems like somebody's very, very calm. There's a very graceful energy, a beautiful energy about this situation. Um, I feel like it's very loving in nature. Um, definitely someone is uh, very confident here and um, there is definitely a want to give their love to you. That's what I feel like here. But we're gonna go further in the situation and find out what's going on here. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is multiple decks here. We're really gonna go in depth with this, okay? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen my Cancers? What is going on my Cancers love connection? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, their love interest. What is this person's true long-term intention towards them? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So let's lay down these cards first. Okay, so we got the Temperance, we got the Six of Cups. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords, we got the Wheel of Fortune energy, we got the Five of Wands, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, and I'm gonna lay down six cards for the true long-term intentions here. Okay, okay. I'm also gonna get more information on top of that, so let's just leave that there for now. Let's put these up here, Let's so you guys can see what's going on, okay. So far, I can see that in the past, you guys definitely, with this situation, it was a little bit trying. You can see that there, okay? Um, it does look like, though, the timing starts to, this timing had started to move in your favor in the past. You can see that, that it started to look a lot brighter, a lot happier, a lot better. So you felt like, at the one time, you felt like in this situation, this connection, there was a wrong time here. And then it started to feel like, yeah, now luck's starting to move in my favor. It feels like the right time. You know how you get involved with those relationships where you're just like, man, this is the right person, but the wrong time, right? So it seemed like in the past, you, that's the kind of the situation you guys were in. It was just like, it was the right person, but it seemed like it was the wrong time. But um, now it seems like it started to move in a better direction here in the current. We can see that because there is a healing energy here. It looks like whatever was going on, it was because somebody was coming out of a relationship uh, or they were coming out of it. You were coming out of a situation where it was just like, yeah, there were some issues there around it um, because we see the blockage is arguments and fights and disputes. Okay. And challenges or a lot of competition, even with the five of wands energy, because the, this, this focus right now needs to be on your hands aren't tied, you know? Why do you think your hands are tied in this situation? They're not. You could take a risk here, right? Because um, it seems like you're hesitant to move forward in this situation. The timing is now in your favor. It just, it started in the past there. It's now starting to work in your favor when it comes to this connection. It does look like there is some stuff coming up pertaining to the past with the Six of Cups energy being there. So let's get more information about this cancer. I want to find out about this, all this situation here, all this arguments, this fights, this challenges, and I want to find out what this temperance is about. Okay, so you see the influence seems to be worry and stress, worry and stress about the situation, lots of concerns, a lot of self-doubts. Okay, so what is Cancer's love interest, true and long-term attention source? I'm showing my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the temperance. So we see that there, yes, as I said, there was something to do with healing here. And we see that this, this card is about recovery, um, recovering from something here. Um, so we can see that there's a patient energy for things to come into balance for this situation to recover. There was some dishonest, there's some dishonesty going on about someone from the past or something to do with the past or memories of the past. 
there are some deceptions going on when it comes to that. So your focus right now needs to be on your thought process and not being stuck there because if you really want to manifest this situation, manifest it how you want it. You know, you can't have that situation where you're just like, well, it's not going to work out. You know, what's going on here? I'm trapped in the situation. There's nothing I can do about it. There's always something you can do about it, okay? And Spirit is suggesting change your thoughts, change your planning around the situation. In the past, it looks like things started to align in your favor when it came to spending some time with this person because we see the courtship card. Uh, spending some time and hanging out and, and, and just going out together. And we see that there is something legal possibly for some of you going on as part of the blockage, some kind of legal battle or argument here with a court card and the five of wands, some disputes and arguments here, and some big changes happening here around the situation. Uh, let's get more information here. I want to get more information about this temperance card. Can you give me more information about this temperance card and the healing that's going on here in the current, please? Thank you. Some kind of distortion happening when it comes to time. Okay, not having enough time and something to do with distortion. Someone wants some kind of control around a commitment. Okay, give me more information, please. Give me more information, please, about this, this current situation with going on here with cancer. Thank you. Distortions and emotions, a lot of emotions at play, wanting more control and a commitment. Okay, that's what's going on in the current. Okay, give me some more information about what this trapped energy is about, please. What's this trapped energy about, please? What is that about? Give me more information about that, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, you're lacking uh, what I feel like your thoughts. It's saying that you're not realizing your value here, Cancer, okay? So spirits like change your thoughts here. You're not trapped in a situation. You have value. Bring that into balance. You are attractive, okay? Don't feel like you're not attractive here. There's a healing situation going on. There's a patient energy right now. And there's some, you know, you're not being honest with yourself about this stuff to do with the past, okay? So look, you have value here and just bring that into balance within yourself. Okay, tell me about what's this, this blockage here. Tell me about this blockage here. Give me more information about this blockage. When it comes to this courthouse and all this five of wands stuff. Okay, thank you. It's to do with a relationship and having to resolve some things. Okay, thank you. Because it's a part of a purpose here. And you see that there are signs around this. Okay. Uh, so there is a sense of having to be mature and making wise decisions in this situation. Okay, knowing that there's a long road here. Okay. Let's go further on this. Let's get more information here, Cancer. What is Cancer's love interest? Sorry, there's, let's fix that real quick. What is Cancer's love interest? Long-term intentions towards them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. See. Okay, let's get more information about this current. Obviously, there's challenges in the current. We see that um, you are aware, you're feeling this intuitively, that there are some issues when it comes to the past. Yeah, it's fair to say for your focus right now, you need to focus on self-love, which is essential to ground yourself and address your needs. Again, this is the this is like the Queen of Pentacles. This is like the Empress card energy for my deck. So it is saying take care of yourself, knowing that you're attractive. All right. In the past, yes, there was definitely this potential for love, a love connection, spending time together. Things started moving in your favor. And we see that there's a sense of isolation or separation here. Um, going on because of some disputes and something possibly legal for some of you. Okay, so advice here. Four of Wands is saying, okay, there's a foundation that's laid here, laid down already, okay? So don't lose hope, okay? And focus on giving yourself some time to heal and reflect. Because we see there's a lot of self-doubt going on here with the influence cancer. And there is some intimate time or some intimate space here going on here with the family room card and some kind of, you guys are gonna receive some kind of letter message or docket from, from this person, um, possibly to go hang out or spend some private time together, okay? Um, yes, there's a lot of self-doubt around this, but yes, you're gonna receive some kind of message from them. Okay, so let's bring this all together and let's look at their long-term intentions. Okay. So before we do that, let's turn these over. We got the 
the Eight of Pentacles energy, we got the King of Cups energy, we have the Death card energy, we have the Justice card energy, we have the Ace of Cups energy, and we have the Hermit card energy. So far we can see that there is a want to put the work or effort into love. There's love here, obviously, with the King of Cups energy. Let's get more information. Give me more information about Cancers, love interests, long-term intentions towards them. Show my cards if you see, show my cards if you need to. Yeah, I said, as I said, guys, you're going to get some kind of message from them. So if you're out of contact with this person right now, you're going to get a message because it says there's a message coming in. It's going to be a very emotional message, okay, to heal this situation um, because obviously there is a tree here, right? So the tree has been through it, but the tree is growing back the leaves. So their intentions so far, as I can see, is they're going to send you some kind of message. You even see it in the influence here. Okay, some kind of text message letter or document and stars are in this card. So it's showing me the very hopeful energy. And it's obviously this person does have love for you because there's emotions here. So they're, they're, they have very emotional intentions of sending you a message and, and a loving message telling you what their feelings are to bring healing to the situation. Mm -hmm. There's potential here. This person knows there's potential here and they're very hopeful for some sense of happiness here. This person's just trying to figure out how they can open up the door to clear the air here. That's what I feel like. Um, they're gonna try to be flexible in this situation, okay? Uh, they may be needing a little bit of wiggle room there. That's what their intentions are because uh, they're concerned that, you know, they don't wanna keep going around in circles with the situation, okay? Because th for this person, they feel like they're stuck between two different worlds and they just wanna bring peace to the situation because they are, their intentions are, they, they're trying to decide some things, but they're kind of like stagnant right now and they're kind of like looking like, what direction do I go in? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like this person is not really concerned about what the others have to others have to say about this, this direction that they go in. But uh, there are people that are kind of trying to voice their opinions to this person. And this person's like, yeah, not paying attention. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to keep moving. You know, I'm going to take all my responsibility. I'm going to go and I'm going to figure out where I, which direction I want to go in. And when I figure out the direction that I want to go in, I'm going to reveal some things to you, Cancer. I'm going to open up to you and I'm going to take off this mask and I'm going to tell you the truth about my feelings. I know things have to go by the book here and it has to be done in a certain organized, structured way. But, you know, have faith. I'm having faith that things are going to work out, Cancer, and that I'm hopeful about things because I see there's signs here. I know you're going to ask me why I made this decision but I have to deal with this unfinished business. I have to bring it into harmony so I can mend the situation and find the direction. Okay, so let's keep going. So obviously this person is going to focus on putting the work or effort into making the best decision when it comes to love. This person really wants something to change here. They want this ending for a new beginning here, okay? They are trying to make some kind of legal decision, it looks like. Justice is a legal decision, marry, divorce, just choose, just decision. They're trying to make a decision. Their decision, their intentions towards you is loving, okay? It's loving in nature. So we see the King of Cups energy and the Ace of Cups showing that their intentions is love. So they do love you with the Ace of Cups energy. So going further, we have the Coffin card energy, we have the the happiness card, we have the main person. So we see this person is ready to end some situation that they've been dealing with for happiness. So again, they're, they're, they're just trying to complete a situation so that they can focus on their happiness here. That's what their intentions are. And we see, we see the death card, we see the high honors card, and we see the sad news. So this person's their intentions are to take away some situation when it comes to a decision. So they're trying to take something away, trying to get something done here so they can have a victory in their situation instead of the sad news because they really are focused on the sad news with their concern. Once they take this away, once they make this decision, they're going to try to get a victory with you when it comes to love, but then they're concerned and their intentions that maybe they took too long, you know, thinking about things and they're going to receive some kind of sad news from you. Okay. So, Going further on this, let's get some more information before we go down another layer here. Can I have some advice when it comes to cancer and cancer's love interest? When it comes to their love interest intentions towards them, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Cancer, you have a win-win outcome forecasted for you when it comes to a relationship, but don't let your emotions get away with you, okay? Because it does look like the situation, okay, is going to make you definitely feel like, man, my emotions are running high. Okay, 
But you gotta believe that this is possible, Cancer, okay? You gotta believe it's possible. But you also need to be practical and down to earth about this, okay? Because we know that you guys, they're gonna make a bold move, okay? And your hard work will pay off. And we see that luck is on your side. I mean, you know the luck's on your side because we got the Wheel of Fortune right there. Don't let pride get in the way, but be confident about your situation. And let's see what else came out here. Okay, so understand that that situation, nothing's gonna come of it, but adjustments will have to be made. That's what that flexibility thing was about there. That's what I feel like. Okay. Let's keep going here. Okay, so we see that there's something to do with money and finance here and work and something that they're ending, okay? We see that they, our intentions are a lot of chemistry and passion and resolving something with a, an ex-partner or another person. Their intentions are to have hard to conversations with you and a sense of happiness and a positive outcome for things to turn in their favor. So obviously they're resolving a situation with another person. Obviously you can see that because you see the ex-partner and this, this person's passion for money and finance. That's interesting that <laughs> this situation seems to be coming up this uh, for a lot of people for the intention so far. So we'll see how this plays out. Obviously guys, this is why I always gotta tell you guys to cross watch, check your moon, your rising, your sun sign, because it's interesting that's coming out. Okay, so they are intending to, to have a big breakthrough here so they can reconcile because they have feelings for you. They have romantic feelings for you. So going further on this, let's get a little bit more information here as well. What else do you have for cancer with their love interests, true intentions towards them? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay. There is a person that's jealous of you. They're aware of that. It has to do with other people. There is, they're thinking about you and taking an action they want the door to open. Yeah, they want the door to open something of value so that you can be happy together instead of being all tied up in the situation. So they're taking a break here so they can fulfill their desires. And they're trying to manifest something in love here because you are holding their heart. But they know there's some arguments and fights and that's why they're at that crossroads. That's why they're trying to find the right direction because there's a lot of stress and anxiety here of taking the right path they really do have appreciation for you and they're thinking about you and they know there's something of value here that they want to bring into balance, but they don't know how to be honest with you and warn you about the situation and how to bring things into balance. They're, so they're trying to be very strategic. Okay. All right, my beautiful Cancers. I love you guys so much. I know you guys have a very complex situation, so I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below if you feel comfortable. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple fancy guys to go check out right now. There's the weeklies, there's the monthlies. Monthlies include love, current finance, and health and wellness. Weeklies are the day-to-day -day and the overall. Hi uh, guys, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another day or two. And you guys can let me know which reading you want me to do next in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.